guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be doing our April favorites for you guys. Yes, April favorites and we actually almost forgot to do our April favorites because this past month just flew by and we didn't realize that the month was pretty much over so we're squeezing it in this week because we do have quite a few products to talk about with you guys, a lot of new things. So we have some makeup, some skincare as well as hair care. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So I guess we'll start with makeup. I guess I'll go ahead and go first because I only have like three makeup products and they're all lip glosses. The first two are from Anastasia Beverly Hills and they are in Fudge and Warm Bronze. I have both of them on right now and these colors are so gorgeous and so pigmented. But they're not like your sheen type of gloss where they give like a little bit of color payoff. Okay. They're super, super opaque, which I really love about them. And I have fudge all over my lips and then I put warm bronze in the middle because warm bronze has like some like gold flecks in it, like rose gold flecks in it. It's super, super pretty. They're super pigmented, like I said. I'll do like a couple swatches here. So this is fudge. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's like, like a mauve. It's like a mauve rosy color, I guess you could say. And then warm bronze is a little like softer of a color, but it's still a really nice color to put in the center for me to make my lips look a little bit more juicy you know warm bronze is definitely a really good spring color that can transition into summer but i feel like i can wear fudge all year also these anastasia glosses are a little bit on the thicker side but i really do like that because they last all day mm -hmm. because i did wear both of these out to dinner last weekend for one of our friends graduate graduation dinners and i had a salad and you know when you eat like salad it goes like everywhere i just had to touch up just a little bit and i still had a lot of gloss on so it gives really great payoff so i also have an anastasia gloss to mention and this is in the shade Terra. i got this during the vip sale along with two other shades i got fudge as well and i also got butterscotch which i have not worn yet i have worn fudge and it's really pretty as well but Terra is my favorite at the moment because it's described online as like a terracotta shade and I'm obsessed with like the peachy rosy undertone. It's like the perfect nude gloss for darker skin tones. And these smell so good, they're, but they're like really sweet. Yeah. So if you're not into like a sweet lip product smell, if you like your lip products not to smell, then I wouldn't recommend this. But it doesn't last like all day just when you first put it on. You can definitely smell the sweet smell. But this color I'm obsessed with, I think this is going to be like my new favorite gloss of the season because you guys know I'm a ride or die for like power supply for MAC that's like my favorite gloss but this is still super glossy and like Kelsey said they're really opaque I wasn't expecting them to be as opaque as they were like you know most lip glosses you put it on and you assume it's going to be more sheer but this is like a liquid lipstick mixed with a gloss yeah I would describe it as that too like that's how much pigment that's in these like I don't know what kind of formula like she did to these but they're amazing so if you're into an opaque lip gloss, then you need these. I feel like she did a really good job with her shades in this collection because there are so many different options for different skin tones. I feel like her liquid lipsticks, I personally feel like she needs more options for like darker skin tones as far as her liquid lipsticks because there's so many bright colors. Yeah. In her liquid lipstick collection, she has like a small amount of brownie neutral shades for darker or tan skin tones these have like the best selection so if you guys haven't tried any of her glosses i highly recommend them and we got ours from sephora so the last gloss that we're both going to mention is from the kylie cosmetics line and mm -hmm. this is the color like uh -huh. which is pretty much the only color that i feel like darker skin tones can kind of pull off because yeah. I feel like the other two are too light. Yeah, because at first I thought I would want literally, but when I kept saying it on other skin tones and when I got like in the mail, I was like, okay, no, I can't go lighter than this. <laughs> yeah, because this is already kind of light, but when I wear this, I always wear it with a lip pencil, so I'll like put like grunge on my Holy Grail lip pencil mm -hmm. from ColourPop. And I do chestnut. And then I'll just put this on top of it. So it pairs amazing with your favorite lip pencil. Mm -hmm. And the formula of this is really nice. It's not yes. as thick as the Anastasia one, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close, yeah. But it's so smooth and like... Super pigmented. Really pigmented. It's super comfortable on the lips and it's not sticky. Her smells really good as well. I feel like this one isn't as sweet. So good. But still good. It smells delicious. Yes. Yeah. It mm -hmm. smells like a cherry type vanilla mm -hmm. smell. Yeah. It's really, really good. I love the formula and I also like the applicator. I love like the little brush applicator. It kind of gives you that feel when you're getting your makeup done and like someone uses a lip brush on you. I don't know what she got the idea to use a lip brush instead of a doe foot applicator, but I do like the brush tip. And I do have a few more makeup items to show you guys. And these are my last two lippies to talk about. And these are both from Ofra Cosmetics. I recently got some liquid lipsticks from Ofra Cosmetics. I think I got like 
five or six total. I got like four liquid lipsticks and I think two lip glosses. I haven't tried the glosses yet, but I'm obsessed with these liquid lipsticks. My two favorite colors that I've recently been using the most are Americano and Bel Air. I'm wearing Americano today and it's super, super comfortable. These I don't hear that much about. I was seeing a lot of people use them on Instagram and I follow their Instagram now and I think they have like a lot of really nice shades. This on my lips does not feel like drying. It doesn't feel flaky. Americano is like a really terracotta like orange brown kind of color. It's a really unique shade. I feel like it's comparable to cork by Dose of Colors and Ashton from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I feel like it complements my skin tone really, really nicely. Because I've been wanting to get my hands on cork forever, but every time I go on Dose of Colors, it's sold out. But this one is pretty close to it. And I did use this in my most recent tutorial along with Bel Air. So I used these together in my most recent chit chat, Get Ready With Me. So I love, love, love these. Next, I have two face products to talk about, and the first one is a primer. This is the Givenchy Mr. Matte Mattifying Primer, and I love this. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do because you guys know I love, like, my other primers like my Becca Evermatte and like my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer but this one can hold a candle to those. This one is just as good and I love that it's really lightweight because the thing about the Becca Evermatte Primer is kind of like sticky and tacky. It doesn't last forever but when you first put it on it's not that comfortable. This is comfortable as soon as you put it on. It's like it disappears into the skin. I don't know what it is but it still gives you a matte finish before you apply your foundation so if you're really oily I highly recommend this. The formula is a silicone base I was expecting it to be like a white cream or something I don't know why but it is like a silicone base formula like the Smashbox primer the original primer I forgot the name of that one the clear silicone one is very similar to that so I feel like this is mattifying as well as like pore filling kind of because I feel like Silicone primers kind of smooth out the skin mm -hmm. and this one definitely does do that as well as mattify. And the last face product that I have Kelsey mentioned in our last favorites video and this is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I'm obsessed. I'm on the bandwagon along with everybody else that loves this. I love the fact that this says it's a skin tint so it makes you feel like it's going to be lightweight but when you put it on it's super full coverage like but still was, lightweight but it still feels yeah really comfortable on the skin. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be as full coverage as it is when I use this. You guys saw me use this in my last makeup tutorial. I'm obsessed. This is going to be my new favorite. Go to summer foundation because that's what I'm calling it. This is not like <laughs> a, a tint. tinted moisturizer or anything like that type of thing. This is a straight up foundation that's called skin tint. Yeah. Like that's what it is. So if you're looking for something that's really lightweight but still gives you full coverage, I highly recommend this. If you're looking for something that's like minimal coverage, I would not recommend this. Even though it says skin tint, do not let the name fool you. Love this and I'm in the color Polynesia Dark One. And the last makeup product that I have here is an eyeshadow palette that I've finally been using more because I did buy this like two months ago, I think. And I don't know why I neglected it. I've just been putting it on the back burner. But when I did start using it, I could not stop. This is the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with how this palette looks. It's just like the best warm neutral palette that you would ever use pretty much because it has every color that you need in it. It does have like some duplicates of like the same color like I'm looking in here and I see some colors that pretty much look the same uh, on this side. But this is like my area right here. I'm obsessed with like the reddish warm tones even though this, this whole thing is a warm palette. This side is just like giving me life every time I open it. I'm like, I want to use these. I'm wearing these today and they're really pigmented. They do have a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. You can just like wipe it away with a makeup wipe or a brush. If you're not into like getting a bunch of individual shadows and you just need your go-to palette, I highly recommend this one because it's bomb. And I do know that they have the all shimmer palette and the all matte palette for the 350 palettes that they just came out with. But I just want to use this one for now. Because I know if I get that matte one, I'm just going to stay using that. So I'm just going to enjoy this one for now. And then later I might think about getting the matte one. But yes, love that palette. Okay, so now you guys are going to get tired of hearing my voice. Because I have a lot of hair care. And then I have a few skincare products. So the first hair product I want to mention is this Earth's Nectar Nourish Conditioning Detangler. And I used this in my most recent curly hair routine that I just filmed yesterday. And it's going to go up today. 
for this video obviously and I love 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 this leave-in conditioner I haven't had it that long and as you can see I used a lot already actually I used more than this but when it was almost like like halfway I put water in it so by adding water to this you can just stretch the product and you won't have to repurchase as fast so I've been kind of milking this like just keep filling it up with water but I know eventually it's just gonna be water and I'm gonna have to go buy another one but this is an amazing product and it does have pure aloe in it so it coats the hair really nicely to prep my hair before I apply my styling product and it is a detangler as well so it's like a two-in-one because you guys know that we don't use combs or anything when we detangle we use our fingers and this helps me a ton so I love 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 this leave-in conditioner and it's not that much for this size so love 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 this so next I want to mention a deep conditioner you guys know that we're obsessed with deep conditioners I can talk about them all day and I think eventually we're going to do one for curly hair because we have an older one on our channel for straight hair our favorite deep conditioners but I think we should do one for curly hair mm -hmm. but this one that I want to mention to you guys today is the one that I've been using all month long and this is the curls blueberry bliss reparative hair mask this stuff is amazing. I need to get another one because this is pretty much all gone. It's like hardly nothing in here. I have to like scrape it to get more out. But the smell is impeccable. It works amazing. Like this is the first deep conditioner that I used when I went from straight back to curly. And I really feel like it helped my curls to bounce back. I do have a deep conditioning routine already up for my curly hair. My updated curly hair deep conditioning routine. And I used this in the video. So this stuff is amazing. I love, love, love it. I know it's in some targets, but some targets don't carry it yet because I know a lot of people were saying they didn't see it in their targets. But it's online on her website, curls.biz. So I'll have the link down below for this so you guys can check it out. But this deep conditioner is amazing. So the last two hair products I want to mention are styling products that I also used in my recent curly hair routine. And the first one is this Bumble and Bumble Style Defining Cream for shapely curls that move this stuff is so bomb i feel like my hair is it looks pretty good now because i do have these two in it now but i feel like the first time i used this i was like extra surprised because i was just in shock of how good these products worked because we're super picky about our curly hair products mm -hmm. somebody actually commented on my deep conditioning routine saying that we can use anything in our hair and it'll, it'll look good and that's i was like true. that's a complete lie i just took a product back to sephora last week because it worked like crap mm -hmm. it was the weed egg curl, curl quencher and it sucked i had to take it back but these are the absolute truth this defining cream is exactly what it says it's a defining cream it defines my curls it makes them into perfect ringlets and I love it, but it doesn't like weigh my hair down because I like a balance. I'm kind of complicated when it comes to my curly hair products. I don't like them to weigh my hair down too much, but I like them to weigh it down enough to where I don't have a lot of shrinkage. So I really, really love this. And the gel oil actually has a little less hold to me than the styling cream, but it still does give a really good hold. And I feel like the oil stretches my curls out. It is a little crunchy when your hair first is completely dry, mm -hmm. but you just scrunch the crunch out like I did in my curly hair routine and you're good to go. And I feel like they smell pretty much the exact same, like a citrusy smell this, but I feel like it smells so good. The gel is richer in smell. It smells impeccable. Like Kendra said in that haul, this is the smell is the only reason she got it. Like <laughs> it's like a like almost clean fruity smell. Mm -hmm. It has like a clean freshness to it. It's just like perfect for summer. Like yeah. like it's so good. But yes, this is a really good gel, and I will continue to purchase this. And I think it might be up there with my kinky curly gel. So those are definitely my new top two gels because for a long time I couldn't find one that I liked as much as the kinky curly gel. But this one. It's the truth. Okay, so that is it for the hair products I've been obsessing over this month. So now I have three skincare products to mention to you guys. Um, two of them are from Kiehl's. The first one is this Kiehl's Blue Herbal Gel Cleanser Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. This stuff is so good. A little bit of this goes a long way and I've been using this for actually like two months now. And as you can see, it's still a lot in here. This is super, super watery, but every time I use it, I just shake it up really good and I just pour a little bit in my hand and it goes, it's super watery, like I said. So you definitely have to hurry up and lather it in your hand and start to wash your face with it. But I love this stuff. It's like super minty when you put it on your face. So your pores just feel like they're opening up because I always use this in the shower at night. This is like my new nighttime cleanser. And it's just a really, really good product. I feel like it's super gentle on the skin, but still helps with my acne. So I really haven't had any breakouts in the last two months. And I feel like it's because of this. So this stuff is pretty bomb. I'm going to continue to purchase it, but this is going to last me a while. So 
I really, really like it. And the other Kiehl's product I have is this Rare Earth Pore Refining Tonic. This is a toner and it minimizes pores and it mattifies the skin. And I changed my toner because my Neutrogena was not working anymore. I had been using that for a long, long time. I like, I think I went through at least like 10, 11 bottles of that stuff. And after a while, I just noticed that my pores were starting to like get bigger. And I was like, oh, it stopped working. Because I guess when you start to use something for so long, your skin just gets used to it. So I had to just find a new toner and... I heard a lot of great things about this one and when I started to use it I was obsessed with it. I did use a lot of this already so the toner does not last as long as the face wash but I feel like with my toners I just use a lot anyway because I kind of put a lot on the cotton pad. I just like to tone my skin. I feel like it makes a big difference and I have noticed that after I started using this that my pores shrunk back down so they're back small exactly how I want them not super noticeable so I really like this and this is also good if you have oily skin because it mattifies the skin as well. It does have a powder mixture in it so when you first get it like after it sits for a while you're gonna realize that every time you use it you have to shake it up so that the products can you know mesh well together so because if you don't shake it up I one day I forgot to shake it up and it kind of went on kind of gunky because I didn't shake the powder up mixed with the liquid mixture in it. So just make sure you shake it up every time you use it. But this is a bomb toner. I really like Kiehl's because I feel like their products are a little bit more natural. And my skin really likes more organic natural products. Because my skin kind of goes crazy when I'm using something that has like a lot of chemicals in it or something like that. Um, I get rashes and all that nasty crap. So Kiehl's is amazing. I want to use more of their products and do some more research. But I really love those two products. And the last skincare product I have to mention is this Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. And this is a daytime eye cream. So it's not really meant for nighttime. You're supposed to use it every morning. And it has like a little ball tip. And you just pop it up like this. And you squeeze it out. And you just put it underneath your eyes. And then I just warm it up with my fingers. <laughs> like I was not expecting it to pop up like that. <laughs> Yeah, it pops up so because when I first got I was squeezing, squeezing, squeezing and uh -huh. nothing came out. So you have to pop it up for it to come oh, out. Oh, that's different. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love this because you guys know, well, most of you guys know that me and Kendra are night owls and we don't get a lot of sleep. I don't. We're I always, do better. Yeah. We just, even if I like get up early one day, I still can't go to bed early. I don't know why I'm just like in my phone or we're up late editing a video. Like I just cannot something. go to sleep. It's always something. But I feel like this helps a lot with like bags and like dark under eye circles because I really don't have them and I know it's because of this eye cream. And my other one that I used to use is still really good as well but I wanted to use one that was more for the morning. So I saw this one under new products under Sephora and I was sold. So I really have been loving this and I think I'm going to continue to purchase this for my morning eye cream. Okay, so I have one last product to mention to you guys, and I guess you can consider this skincare. So my last favorite is coconut oil. This stuff has been like a dream for me. Like, I don't know where I've been, why I haven't been using this all my life. Like, this stuff is bomb. This brand is the Carrington Farms Healthy Foods for a Healthy Soul. This is the pure, unrefined, cold-pressed coconut oil, 100% organic extra version. I know you're probably thinking, what is she doing with that big old <laughs> container of coconut oil? Because this is huge. This is 54 ounces. It's a lot. But I've been using this every night when I get out of the shower. And sometimes I will mix it with the body oil. This stuff is bomb. Like if you're looking for like a nighttime moisturizer for your body. And you just have like really dry skin. You can even put this like on your hair. Some people use this as a makeup remover. But deep I, conditioner. Yes this is really good for a deep conditioner like a hot oil treatment. Because coconut oil is supposed to be like the best oil for your hair. Like out of all the hair oils. This is supposed to be the best. Coconut oil. So if you haven't tried it in your hair, I highly recommend it. I use it in my curly hair sometimes to add some shine or I will put it on top of deep conditioners. It's just an all around good product. You guys can research like all the benefits for coconut oil. Like for beauty, like beauty wise, this stuff is a dream. Like it just solves all your beauty problems. Some people even use it on their face. For like a face moisturizer if you don't have sensitive skin. I heard it was good for acne. Yes, I heard it was good for acne and I heard it was really good for anti-aging. So look it up. You'll see like a lot of things that you didn't even know that coconut oil was probably good for. But I've been using it as a body moisturizer and I don't think I will stop using it because it's just that amazing. So and this thing is so huge. I told Kendra this thing it's is going to last her until she had like her second child. 
I just heard so many good things about it that when I ordered this, I ordered this off Amazon that I got real excited and I'm like, I'm just going to get the big one. <laughs> so this is from Amazon and it was under $20. I think I paid like $15, $16 for this. So if you're looking for like a big industrial size, like Costco size coconut oil, order it off Amazon because I feel like they would have the best deal for a large size like this. I'm obsessed with it and it smells nice too. So that's the plus. So that completes our April favorites. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you've tried any of these products or if you're going to. We are planning our giveaway really soon, so be looking forward to that. We're going to make a video about the rules and everything and what the prizes will be. So be looking out for that. And I think that's all I wanted to say. Once again, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.